Okay, so I figured I'd talk a bit about the uh, casting news, this huge slew of casting news for Thor Ragnarok, which is going to be coming out next year. A movie I'm really... Um, I'm really uh, half and half about, because the more I've thought about it, the more I've kind of been like, you know, look... Uh, you know, people are kind of split on Captain America: The First Avenger, but I'm pretty. But I like it, and I consider uh, the Captain America Marvel trilogy to be, you know, that's like a perfect trilogy to me. I know some people have some problems with um, First Avenger, but I really like it. I really dig um, First Avenger, just how Indiana Jones it feels, um, and I just love the adventure type feel to it. But yeah, I consider the Captain. America movie a trilogy to be like the perfect Marvel trilogy so far. I've had my problems with Iron Man 3 and 2. I don't hate them. Well, I have my I have a lot more problems with 3 than I do 2, but I don't outright hate them. I haven't found a movie and a Marvel movie that I've outright hated. Um so that brings me to the Thor trilogy that we're going to be having. Thor the thing with Thor is that I like the first movie. I don't love it. It's not one of my favorites, but I do like it. I think it has a lot of merit to it. But the second movie, the more I see it, the more flaws it is. It's still not absolutely terrible, but there's a lot of other Marvel movies in the genre that I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'll take that before I take Thor The Dark World. And, you know, Thor Ragnarok was a film when it was first announced, I was like, oh yeah, Thor, you know, Ragnarok, we're gonna go out with, you know, the end of Asgard and all that, and it's gonna be awesome. And then they announced the director. <laughs> the director, oh boy. Um... You guys remember uh, Takai Watiti? I hope I'm saying that last name right, but yeah, the guy behind such great films as like uh, Green Lantern. Yeah, he's doing this film. Oh boy. I also think this is the first time we've had three different directors for three different films in, in Marvel movies because the Russo brothers had two. Um, you know, Shane Black directed Iron Man 3. Thor's never had a consistent director. Thor, in any, you know, first was Kenneth Prana, then was the guy behind Terminator Genesis, and now we have the guy behind Green Lantern. Now, Marvel does have some semblance of what they're doing here, but yeah, I'm still really worried about this film. Um, Chris Hemsworth wants to be, have this be more of a, uh, have more of a fun, lighthearted feel to it. I'm like, no! This is the end of the, the Ragnarok's supposed to be the Nordic end of the world. You don't, you can have some laughs, but still. You know... <laughs> no! <laughs> anyway. But who knows? Maybe just for saying, oh, it's going to be funnier, maybe that won't happen. And actually, there is a movie from uh, from Takai I actually do enjoy called What We Do in the Shadows. It's a great vampire uh, mockumentary film. I actually... I really enjoy What We Do in the Shadows. It's actually a really cool... It's a fun little vampire film. Um... I highly recommend you guys go see it. It's it's a lot of... I think it's a lot of fun. It's a fun vampire mockumentary. Uh, I recommend it if you're looking for something, you know, for something out of the ordinary with vampires, you know? But yeah, I'm still, like... I'm, I'm interested, but it's the same time I'm, like, I'm worried. You know what I mean? Anyway. So, with this, uh, we have the new cast and new characters which the cast is playing. Um, Kate Blanchett is uh, was the first one, and she is confirmed to be Hella, which I'm like, all right, awesome. That is Hella, awesome. Ah, I know that was a bad one. That that was a bad one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm cool with that. I think it's fine. Um, high time we had Hella, and it looks like she may be the main villain, which I'm kind of like with Ragnarok. Shouldn't there? Because here's the thing: there's been no mention of Surtur. Now, they could be saving Surtur in this film, because, yeah, Surtur is the one who causes, you know, a majority of Ragnarok. Well, Loki does too, but he's one of Thor's biggest villains. You'd think he would be in this film some somewhere as, like, the big final villain, but I can... Hell is fine. I can roll with that. And maybe Surtur will... when the fire demons will somewhere be in this film, you know? Anyway. So we also have... Uh, this is the one that made me go, What? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum has been cast as the Grandmaster. Now, first off, I think it's really cool that we're having the Grandmaster in the Marvel Universe, because we obviously have the correct Collector. It's, it's high time we had the other members of the Elders of the Universe, especially with the Infinity War uh, coming closer and closer to us. So it makes sense that, you know, 
uh, we would have another cosmic entity in here. That's how we, you know, Dark World was the first introduction of the Collector, so it's not that. It's just that we have Jeff, the Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> when you think characters Jeff Goldblum can play, does does the Grandmaster come to your mind? No? <laughs> Me neither. But then again, did anyone guess Benicio Del Toro as the Collector? Fair point. <laughs> I just think, I just can't help but go, uh, uh, the games find a way to write, and, you know, ch checkmate, uh, yeah. I know he's not gonna be like that, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> we also have, um, Tessa Thompson playing Valkyrie, which it's high time we've got that character in this universe, and yes, uh, Tessa Thompson, I'm not familiar with her work, but she is a African-American actress, I'm cool with it because we already have Idris Elba's. Um, we already have Idris Elba as um, Heimdall, and at this point, they've already said that the, they're not really gods. They're more like alien. They're more like extraterrestrial beings, and they can look whatever the fuck they want like they want to look like. So I'm cool with it at this point. I don't know much of Tessa's work, so I can't really give a say on it. I'm just glad we have Valkyrie, and the one I'm really like out of all of them, I'm really excited for is. <laughs> Carl Urban has been cast as uh, Scourge, a.k.a. the Executioner. Again, another character we finally had in here. What surprises me, though, is that we have no cast... Um, we have no casting for... Oh, so far, we don't have any casting for... Um, we have no casting as of yet for uh, the Enchantress, you know, Amora. And, yes, yeah, Scourge is like her right-hand man, so... Where is she? Have we not found a character for her yet? Or have we not found an actress for her? Is she going to be in the film at all? I don't know. Just because these people have been in announced doesn't mean that's going to be the whole cast. Remember, this movie's like a year or so away, you know, a year away. So we've got plenty of time to get, you know, some more casting out there and, you know, some more people, you know, in the film. So they just, I guess they just, Marvel decided to do a whole slew of uh, casting calls um, and just release this to the press and just reveal it. I think it's really cool. First off, Carl Urban, who... Carl Urban, if he's behind any film, I'm really enjoying it. And my dad, too. My dad actually is a huge Carl Urban fan, mostly because he uh, he thinks he's the best thing in all the um, Abrams Star Trek movies. Uh, so... I think... Uh, so... This is going to get my dad in the seats anyways, because if you get Carl Urban in here... I don't know why, he's just like... Uh, He's a big fan of that guy, of that actor. And mostly because, like I said, he's a fan of his um, his portrayal of Bones in the Star Trek films. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else did I want to say about this movie? I'm not hating on this idea at all. The casting, while some of them are really weird, some of them, the other, I'm like, I can see that. The other thing is that we have Mark Ruffalo in this movie as we're coming back as the Hulk. First off, maybe we can get like a... a as much as I like the Avengers movie, and there was a cool Hulk and Thor fight in there, it wasn't very long, but hopefully maybe this time around we can get a, a cool Hulk-Thor fight in this film. You know, a more epic Hulk-Thor fight. So, really, I'm really hoping for that most of all. The other thing is that I'm wondering, you know, we are getting... This is, uh... Excuse me. Uh, I've got tongue... Uh, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. The other big thing is that this is probably going to be Thor's final movie. They did say that they just do um, character trilogies, then they just kind of move on from there. So I'm wondering what Hulk's role is going to be in here, you know, other than probably fighting Thor. So, and also, you know, at first I was thinking, really, do we need Hulk in a Thor movie? Is that is that needed? But after seeing Civil War, I'm like, yeah. After I said, do we really need all these characters in one movie? I'm fine with it, because it looks like it. Um, at least the Russo brothers knew how to juggle multiple characters. Let's see Let's see how the guys behind Thor, do, you know, the writers behind that are doing. You know, also we have uh, Christopher Yost and um, Craig Kyle coming back to do this script for, as the writers. They were the writers behind uh, Dark World, so we're getting that, them back again. Um, yeah. All in all, um, the casting looks fine. I'm just, like, out of all of them, Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. Okay. <laughs> That's the one where I'm like, really? I mean, the other ones I can kind of see, but really him? I just, hmm. Well, he did play an alien before, and, <laughs> and Earth Girls are easy, so I guess it's not too far of a stretch. 
Oh, man. Anyway. All in all, um, the casting's fine. Uh, I'm just kind of worried about this film, because I've heard, like, you know, we're not getting Natalie Portman back, but that means no Darcy, so I'm actually fine with that. We don't know if we're, we're going to, you know, there's been no confirmation if the Warriors 3 are going to come back or Lady Sif, so I have no idea for that. Um, what we do know is that uh, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, and Idris Elba and Anthony Hopkins are coming back to do this film. So, yeah. We got them. But, yeah. Um, I'm wondering who else is going to come back or if any of the Warriors that are going to come back, if anything. And I'm just kind of like... I'm on the fence about this film. Maybe a trailer will make me feel better. But, yeah, after the director did Green Lantern, I'm kind of like, I'm worried about him. You know, most of all. And again, as much as I like Christopher um, Christopher Yost and Craig Kyle, as, you know, I love their young X-Men run and several other things they've done in the Marvel Universe, the big thing with Thor The Dark World was, you know, it was trying to be too comedic and trying to follow up with, you know, the Josh Whedon-type writing. This was coming hot off the heels of that, along with um, Iron Man 3. So I'm just kind of, you know, as much as I like them, I, I wasn't complete. I don't hate Thor The Dark World, but I don't, you know, I don't absolutely love it either. It's not one of my top ten favorite Marvel movies. But anyway, so but all in all, I am, you know, very curious. You know, the cast looks, it's very unique, I'll give it that. But, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for uh, this film, you know? So you guys tell me. What do you guys think of the ca the new casting news for Thor Ragnarok? Um, are you guys excited? Do you guys like it? And um, yeah, do you think what other characters do you want? Are you hoping to see in uh, Thor Ragnarok? You know, Surtur, um, uh, Amora. You know, all those other characters. So really curious what you guys have to say about all this. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.